Welcome. We're here at Control Lab Products and we were asked to create a control of a robot setup. And the robot setup uh, is just a prototype at this for the moment, but the control should be run as a Bachmann controller. What we did, we created in a package called 20SIM a model of the robot. First, we created a rigid body model of all the bodies that the robot consists of with all the coupling between, so all the joints that are there. The next step was to use this model in 20SIM together with actuation, like all the motors, the four motors that are in the robot, and a controller that steers the motors. The controller is what we would like to use on the real robot setup. If you look at it, it's just a reference position that you like to have a conversion to the different steering of the different actuators that we have. For instance, in the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, and the vertical movement of the robot. We can perform a simulation of this. And the situation that we want to have is a circular movement of the tip of the robot, both in the XY plane and the vertical plane. And it actually looks like this. So the, the robot tip moves both in vertical direction in a circular movement and in the XY plane in a circular movement as well. We're satisfied with this controller. So the next step is to use this controller on the real set. For that, we will run the C code generation tool of 20SIM and we will export the controller submodel to the Bachmann setup. And the Bachmann is an industrial controller that's steering the real robot. 20SIM 4C is the tool we will be using to control the real-time target. So what we have to do is connect all our software uh, signals, like the sensors and the actuator signals, to the hardware sensors and the hardware actuators. The next step is to create an executable, a module that can be run at the target. And then we have to specify with which, which frequency it runs and we can start the robot. What you see here is the movement of the real robot, so what it should do and what it does, and it actually the control is working pretty well. So there's little error between the tip of the robot, where it should be, and where it actually is. We can compare the movement with the animation to see that the two are equal. Thank you.